Hey guys, welcome back. So, I recently got the uh, Ridge Jointa, um, and I, I love it. It's it's really cool. I got it at a great price, and you know we we assembled it, we put it together, we started using it. About a day later, we found out when we when we were looking at it, it was kind of like tilted. So at first we thought maybe the fence was off or something in, in that neck of the woods. But what we came to find out is that it's even more worse than that. Now this is a great planer for the money. You can't go wrong. Um, but Ridge, you need to take a look at something because it can be very dangerous to somebody that's using this. The overall on the equipment is great. Uh, the power consumption great the blaze sharpness great uh, It's a hundred percent Flat surface it really cuts everything and shapes everything really accurately But the biggest flaw in this is the base The base is not strong enough to support the amount of weight that is currently on this jointer the top is probably about 120 pounds by itself. When you add the second, the fence to this, it goes up to about 185 pounds. And the base is not structurally enough to support that amount of weight. There's no cross braces on the bottom. They do have it on top, but it's very thin. But that's not where the problem comes in at. The problem comes in at the very bottom where you have the legs. And let me show you what I mean. So if you look at the jointer right now, you can see that it's tilted. You see this? And it's leaning towards me on one side. And the reason for that is the leg. So if you look at these legs, see that leg right there? I don't know if you guys can see that, hopefully. But the metal that supports the wheels is actually bent. Where that one is not bent all the way, but it's going. So that needs to be adjusted and fixed by ridge because imagine if you're using this thing and you slide it out and now you want to you know use the machine and then the machine physically tips back on you or collapses out from underneath of you the board could go flying your hand could slip you could hit the blade there are so many different things that can go wrong with this. Ridge, please. You made a great tool. It's really um, inexpensive for what it can do. But that problem needs to be adjusted. So what we're going to do today, we're going to fix that. And how we're going to fix that is we're basically, we are going to build a platform that sits underneath of this. That allows us to have a solid um, support uh, bracket on the bottom and a shelf at the same time and then we're going to try to bring in drawers underneath of this if we can so let's get to doing that but Ridge please you made a great tool fix it before something bad really happens to someone and someone gets hurt over this it's not worth it so let's get to doing this okay we need to take this heavy base off which is going to be a problem we're gonna to have to release the the mount I'm gonna see if I can release this belt so now we need to release the bottom to get to so if I'm lucky I can get up there with an extension I think it's 5 16 things we got to take apart just to get to the base uh, shoot 
You gotta take everything apart. Okay, so I think we got to the base. All right, so we got it off. Okay, let's make sure that this is going to fit the way I designed it to. does fit. The question is how can I get it in? I want to show you guys how bad this thing is really bent. I mean just look at that. That is twisted on both sides. So Ridge, if you see this video, fix this. Put some type of cross brace either here to make it more durable on both sides it needs something or better yet put a bottom plate bottom plate is probably the best thing you can do so what you want to do is the opposite side of the dust collection you want to remove the six bolts that uh, locks into the front and back cover of the joiner so therefore you can slide this in and out um, what I did was I built the base. Um, let me give you those measurements. Pretty sure it was 28 by 5 8. So it's 28 by 5 8 long. We have 12 and 1 8 on width. Then we have basically a half inch round over on all four sides to match the curvature of the inside dimension of the ridge jointer. But the first thing we need to do is get this thing back to where it needs to be. Because this thing is out of whack. Okay, we can hammer that in once we get it. So now what we're going to do is slide this in like that. we go ahead and get that set we can lock in a bolt okay that's gonna be the tricky way we'll get around that is just use a clamp so once we lock in the sides she won't go anywhere Okay, she isn't going to go anywhere now. She's not going anywhere anymore.
Okay, now we got to get all these other bolts back in. Now I know you can buy a separate base, but for a hundred dollars, nah, I'd rather not. I mean, this costs nothing. Scrap wood. So, that problem is solved. Now, no more flexing, no more bending, no more nothing. So, now we just got to go ahead and get these casters on. Now, I will probably change these casters down the line somewhere. This is all I have right now. All right, let's find some screws to go into these casters. So, I could put those in with 5 8 Okay, so let's get the tighten this thing back up. Okay, that's one. Two. So we got that all tightened back up. Alright, so now let's get the switch back in. Now I would not use a screw gun to screw these back in. I would do it manual by hand with a screwdriver. You don't want to strip it it is only plastic don't tighten them all the way until you get bolt screws in I found out that it's a problem okay that's one that's two bada bing bada boom all right now we need to get the uh, protective blade guard back on the other thing is make sure you have something to protect the blade. Now since this is brand new, I still have the blade protector. Again, do it by hand. Don't do it with a screw gun. I mean, you might be able to do it, but you know, it only takes one mess up and then it's, it's done. And once it's stripped, there's no fixing it. Unless you're going to re-drill it, re-tap it. And on this metal, most likely, it's not going to happen. Okay. I must say so. It does work awfully, really nice with that base on the bottom. Now she's strong. Alright, Ridge. Take my example. Do the same thing. Uh, let's get the uh, dust collection shield back on. Alright, so now comes the big thing. Let's get the uh, fence back on. Now, the fence is not that heavy. You can pick it up by yourself. But I wouldn't recommend you picking up the base by yourself. Base is uh, it's a really heavy... Uh, piece of hardware. And we will have to set everything one more time. Okay. Okay, that's nice. All right. So, siege finished, about 45 minutes. Now the one thing I, I am going to have to adjust is the, the bolt on the bottom. So it does hit the bolt. I'll have to cut some more off. Um, it might have been better to put the bolt the opposite direction. So that's basically it. Now we can re remove this blade guard. And as you can see, there's no more wobble. I mean, she stands up nice. Let me show you guys how it looks. So that's basically how it looks, Ridge. So take for my example, put a flat platform on the bottom. Don't let somebody get hurt. It's not worth it. So that's the Ridge jointer with the platform on the bottom. She's solid. And the greatest thing is 
Now we got a shelf. We want to add something on the bottom. You know, put something there. You can do whatever you want. I'm probably going to put a pack out underneath of there. With some bits and stuff. Keep uh, spare parts for the uh, ridge jointer. But um, that's the jointer, guys. So I hope this helped you out with the jointer. It's an easy fix. Doesn't cost that much. And instead of spending $109 for the platform. And then you need to spend an additional $49 for uh, coasters. It's not worth it. You know, scrap wood, build your own. And you can do exactly how I did it. And you'll have your joint to 100%. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video on the quick fix for the ridge jointer. I think that this is a better option than to go out and spend that $100 or $129 for the stand that they have and an additional $49 for coasters um, or casters, excuse me. I don't think it's worth it. I think that if you have wood around your shop, you can easily build this. The measurements are 20 and 5 8 long, 12 and 1 8 in width. Um, just follow the video the way, the way I did it, and uh, you guys will be good. All right, I will see you guys on the next video. A lot of great content coming, a lot of great builds. So hope you guys will hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification, share these videos. And I will see you guys on the next one. Ciao for now.